Um, first. That would be Hail to the Chief, in case you all didn't know. The President's theme song, it also happens to be what our next guest plays before he goes to bed at night, apparently these days at least, perhaps. Well, I'm only <laughs> running for the U.S. Senate. <laughs> Peter Schiff, the candidate uh, of Euro-Pacific Capital, joins us now. You know him as a, uh, a bearish voice on the U.S. stock market. What is your message to your constituency? People in general don't like to hear bad things about the U.S. economy, Peter. Well, unfortunately, they're going to have to hear it because bad things are going to happen. As I tried to explain the last time I was on your show, the real economic crisis is not in our past, it's in our future, and it's coming soon. And the reason I want to go to Washington is to really prevent the worst-case scenario from actually playing out. How? Well, ho hopefully I can educate uh, the other senators, the other representatives, maybe even President Obama, that they're the source of our problems. And, and what they've been doing over the last year is throwing gasoline on a fire. Peter, you come on our show quite often and in, in other shows on CNBC. You have that chance to educate people in Congress as well as educate the president. But when you're actually there, what will you do yeah. beyond education? Yeah, I don't know how many of them are watching me on CNBC, <laughs> but I think if hey, I'm on the Senate Welcome floor, CNBC. <laughs> I think if I'm on the Senate floor, they're going to have to listen to me. I think they have something called the filibuster there, so uh, I'll probably be using it. Uh, but no, I think it's very important. I think we're going to, you know, this, this crisis is going to progress. It's going to get a lot worse in the years ahead. Uh, there is no real recovery coming. Uh, the economy is going to keep getting worse. Unemployment is going to get worse. Inflation is going to run out of control. Interest rates are going to spiral higher. And, and somebody has to be in the Congress to actually explain to the other representatives why this country is in so much trouble and what has to be done in, in, in order to enable all of us individually and enable the market to solve these so problems. With respect, Peter, for the third time, I'm going to ask you, so what needs to be done? Well, what needs to be done? We need to shrink government instead of expanding government. Right? We need higher interest rates, not lower interest rates. We need Americans to save their money. We don't want to encourage them to spend more money. We want to pretty much get rid of consumer credit so that businesses can have access to credit. We want businesses borrowing money to make stuff and employ people. We don't want consumers borrowing money to blow it on consumption. And we certainly don't want to grow government. Government is enormous. The economy is in bad shape already. We can't afford trillions more in, in government spending. We need to do the opposite of what we're doing. We need to abolish government departments, shrink agencies, bring the budget back into surplus. Right. So where should interest rates be? Much higher. I mean, okay, the, what, five? I, I don't know, but the, it's, not, it's, it's not up to me to decide. The market should decide, not the Federal Reserve. I know they shouldn't be zero. We have a nation where nobody is saving and everybody is borrowing. How can interest rates be, be zero? And when you have an artificial interest rate that's low, it distorts the economy. It creates malinvestments. It, it, it creates artificial booms that ultimately have to bust. So, Peter, I'm going to give you your first political quandary. I know that you're very bearish to the dollar. You're probably telling most of your clients not to be long the dollar, correct? Well, I've told you that. I mean, uh, is anybody us? here yeah. short? You yeah. guys have your gold yet? Once you become the U.S. Senator, congratulations. One of your clients actually <laughs> becomes a foreign central bank. What would you tell foreign central banks who are large holders of the U.S. dollar? Should they dump their dollar holdings? Of course, I'm telling them to do that right now. So I mean, you would tell foreign central banks to dump... They, look, they shouldn't be buying Treasury debt. Look, I don't want the U.S. government going into debt. So I don't want foreign governments lending our government money. What is the government doing with the trillions of dollars that it's borrowing from abroad? It's using it to undermine our economy. It's, it's expanding government at the expense of the economy. It's undermining the free market. It's encouraging more reckless consumption. I want foreign enablers to cut us off. Stop lending money to my government because they're going to force me to pay it back with interest or they're going to create massive inflation that is going to wreak havoc on the American economy. Is there any form of stimulus that you would implement that you think would work the way well, you'd like it to work? Well, unfortunately, what we have now is not stimulus. It's sedatives. The only thing that government stimulates is the problem. Right. Real stimulus would be to shrink government and to allow the free market to work. Unfortunately, we're going to have to suffer some short-term pain because of all the problems of the past. We're going to have to allow people to lose their jobs in the unproductive part of the economy so they can get new jobs. We're going to have to allow companies to fail right. that aren't profitable. The government's going to have to sit back and let this happen. But if it does, there's a lot of light at the end of the tunnel. The free market is very dynamic. We can have a lot of growth if the government will get out of the way. But right now, they're putting roadblocks. They're preventing the market from curing the problems as they're making it worse. And they are setting up a major, major economic disaster. 2008, you know, was the warm-up. The main event is coming, whether it's 2010 and 2011, right. but it's coming. And if no one in Congress understands why, you know, it's going to be a complete disaster. All right, Peter.
Got to wrap it here. You're <laughs> All right, well, shift for Senate.com. <laughs> Any, anybody living like in Connecticut, the vote for me. Peter, I'm like All right, I'll well, get your vote, but if you want to contribute to the campaign, yeah, right. shift for Senate.com. Yeah, all right, Linda McMahon, I guess, uh -huh. if you're out there, you can come. Well, she, you know, she doesn't need any money. She's got, she's got more <laughs> right. than I do. Thank you, Peter. Thanks. Time now to answer a fast message.